Paul Gilmartin. Paul is a very fine podcast out there these days. I certainly would recommend. But uh, his years of poetry are behind him, I think. But let's give this a listen. A little Father's Day poem. Not too far off. Yeah, not too far off. Dear old dad, it's Father's Day, and I just want you to know you're the best there ever was at the things I'll list below. Stinking up a bathroom, <laughs> snoring like a beast, <laughs> teaching me to mow the lawn before I had front teeth. <laughs> Showing how to hide your feelings, overemphasizing winning, teaching me the birds and bees at a cub game between innings. <laughs> <laughs> Turning off our cartoons for news and meet the press, picking a vacation spot where clowns would get depressed. <laughs> Never taking out the dog, forgetting my friends' names, getting drunk and sleeping through all my baseball games. <laughs> I guess as I grow older, I'm supposed to get like you, and I admit I've noticed in some ways that this is true. When I yell, my veins pop out. I've yet to touch a broom. I chuckle in my lazy boy when gas clears out a room. <laughs> But one thing you won't catch me do, as long as I can breathe, that's wearing shorts around the yard with dress socks to my knee. <laughs> there you go. Paul Gilmartin and a great Father's Day poem in the tradition of, uh, of uh, Walt Whitman. And well, I sure. wish you a wonderful Father's thank Day. You, thank you very much. I hope you get to sleep in and they bring you breakfast in bed and you don't have to do any chores. And no, no. Yes, and Tom, uh, I know that you're not my father, but I want you to know I love you. Oh, God, that so was sweet. creepy. <laughs> I was trying to make him wither in, in, uh, ever do wither that in discomfort.